Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 27th. But you know, the timing is fluid, we're just gonna see whatever comes up. Timing is fluid, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What do we have for a message today? What I see instantly is a two cups. Two of Cups is a partnership, it's compatibility, we have a happy couple, maybe it's a potential soulmate relationship, uh, deep connection, uh, kindred spirits, something like that. Two people that really see eye to eye, so I'm not sure if this message is for you or not, but that to start out reading like that is pretty good. Eight of Cups reversed. So the Eight of Cups reversed is pretending to be happy, staying put, refusing to move on from emotionally and an emotionally unfulfilling situation. Ooh, the lovers. Well, you know, I was seeing the Two of Cups, but this is a pretty similar energy. Uh, strong compatibility here. These two people seem to be very comfortable with each other. This is very compatible. Um, holding hands, you know, developing a bond, a strong bond, brought together from, you know, looks like we got an angel up there that has brought in two people together, or Cupid, or a higher power. This is, it's usually when you get the lover's card, it could be, it could be a soulmate connection. Uh, but this is a choice. This is a choice because the lovers is a choice. It's also the lovers is a healing love. There's a sexual connection. There are some shared values. It's um, you know this is a this is coming together with somebody and uh, making. It feels like making. It's almost like a pact. You know a p a c t a pact. You know what I mean. Uh, deciding that you know we're gonna do this together we're not gonna give up on each other we're a team so this is kind of like teamwork but the eight of cups reversed um, it could be emotional weakness it could be emotional weakness so let's just clarify that eight of cups reversed what is that eight of cups reversed Two of Wands reversed, okay. Yikes, Two of Wands, it's indecisiveness, and that's interesting because the the Lovers is about a decision. So, so there's a level of indecisiveness about moving into this love connection. Interesting, interesting. Now, this is choosing the safest option. There could be a sudden arrival or a sudden return. Now this is a disappointment, and this is a disappointment. So here we got another character. Ten of Pentacles. Maybe a decision has been made. A decision has made been made not to go back or to leave something emotionally disappointing behind because there's a new love connection. That's what this is. This is very comfortable. This is building financial stability. This is something permanent. It's in the cards. So somebody has been has been brought together with somebody that they can have something very stable with and build a home with. So that's interesting. But there's a level of wanting to play it safe with both of these cards. So there's some safety issues here. Ooh. King of Pentacles. So, King of Pentacles is somebody that is very loyal, very hardworking, very de dependable, uh, very focused on money, very focused on stability, uh, security. So, we have an individual here that is very secure, solid, stable, um, highly respected by the looks of things as well. This person is probably set financially, somebody that is financially set. At least one of these people is. Hangman reversed. Hmm. Ooh, next to the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Now this is letting something go. And this was struggling to let go. Because there's another option. There is definitely another option that is unexpected. This is perfect match. 
So somebody maybe has been thinking about letting go of something, but they weren't able to, but maybe now they have met somebody that is helping them to heal and let go, let go of somebody because they're looking for stability. There's something stable that has been offered, but this is letting go. This is a missed opportunity. You can't hold on to it. Definitely with the hangman reverse, this is letting go of something that isn't stable for something stable, which is interesting. Now this could be financial stability as well. Ah, oh, the high priestess reversed. Oh, secrets are going to be revealed. Something is, somebody's been keeping a secret and it is going to be revealed. Mm -hmm. This is ignoring intuition. Somebody has been ignoring their gut. Maybe overly reliant on psychics or tarot readers as well. Not listening. Not listening to their gut. It's like their gut is telling them that there's an opportunity for stability, but they've been ignoring it. So they may have missed this opportunity, but here it is. Interesting. Interesting. Five of Pentacles reversed. So this is light at the end of the tunnel, seeing an improvement. This is a turning point. It is a turning point after being ghosted or neglected or... Uh, this is a turning point. Somebody... Hmm... Ooh... Is experiencing a major disruption within themselves. This is a shocking, unpredictable loss. Somebody did not think that they would ever lose this opportunity and they've lost it. And now they have now they're coming somebody's coming back around, I have to tell you, with the eight of cups reversed and the five of pentacles reversed. Somebody that was that neglected a person, that ghosted a person, that did not treat them very well, that may have given them the silent treatment or whatnot. They may have been indecisive because they were fearful. They were choosing the safest option. They didn't see a golden opportunity. Now they've lost it and they're coming back around. Now the person that they are coming back around to has probably already moved on. And the person that has moved on is going to have to make a choice. I feel like the person that has already moved on has moved into a new connection with somebody that they're, it's like they're already holding hands with somebody else right and because this is a choice between two it really is this person doesn't want to be let go they don't want to be let go they probably know that the person that they ghosted and they neglected and they didn't value has moved on and here they come this is a, it's consequences it's consequences somebody is going to is dealing with internal disruption they're facing the consequences of not of, of the neglect of the ghosting of the um not listening to their gut. Now they're facing the consequences because the person that they thought that they would never uh, lose has moved on. So there's definitely a new connection here and now it's a major loss. It is definitely a major loss. There's serious consequences here. Consequences, 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 consequences. Somebody is facing some consequences within themselves. Okay, I feel like also there's going to be uh, they're, they're, this is this is a shock. It is a shock. The tower is a shock. Um, this is hiding something, and this is too. So we have an indivi individual that has been hiding something. They have mm, ten of cups. They've been hiding the fact that they wanted to be in a relationship. Or that maybe they've been hiding the fact that they're already in a relationship or something like that. Or they wanted a commitment because these are both kind of cards of commitment. Somebody's been hiding the feelings about that. Um, disgraced. The five of pentacles reversed is disgraced. This person has been refusing to see something from a new perspective. They were refusing. Now they've lost a golden op opportunity. And so they feel like they're going through some sort of awakening. They, they've gotten some sort of awakening because they lost something that they thought that they would never lose. And now they want to have a relationship. So they're coming back around. 
they are with the eight of cups reversed with the five of pentacles. Somebody's coming back around that that uh, threw basically threw away an opportunity. It's like now they want it. Now they want it. Now they want to have a commitment. Now they want this permanence that they threw away. So oh my god. And we could be dealing with Pisces. We could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, Scorpio, Taurus, um, Four of Pentacles, opening up, Four of Pentacles, reverse, sharing, giving, we have a very stubborn individual here that didn't want to open up, they didn't want to give, they didn't want, they were playing it safe, they were staying in the safety zone. But now they're they're ready. They're ready to open up. They're ready to share. They're ready to give. They they're ready. They're ready for something permanent. Whereas before they weren't. Now all of a sudden they are. And I think they are is because now they are because they know that they lost an opportunity. This is a rude awakening. The tower is a rude awakening. Somebody got a rude awakening. Okay, they did. Because the person that they thought they would never lose has gotten into a new relationship. So I feel like there could be a rejection. There's no commitment. There's uh, a definitely a feeling of disgrace. Okay, we have disgrace a couple times with the Five of Pentacles reversed and the Hero Front reversed. We have somebody that was under a lot of social pressure and had a hard time doing the right thing. Not very spiritual. Uh, and now, you know, and they definitely didn't listen to their gut with the High Priestess reversed and the the high Priestess reverse is right here, and the High Hero Front reverse. We have somebody here that is definitely not very spiritual. They didn't listen to their gut. They didn't listen to their intuition. They didn't listen to any advice from anybody other than society. Society ruled, and now they've lost a golden opportunity because of the social pressure that they were not able to uh, let go of. Okay, the Hangman -Man reverse. They weren't able to swallow their pride. They weren't able to commit. And now they've had a big loss. We could have a broken relationship here as well because this is a, this is definitely, you know, somebody could be filing for divorce. I just got to be honest with you. Um, or get, or splitting up. I mean, with the Eight of Cups reversed and the Five of Pentacles, or there could be a split here. Somebody could be deciding that I don't want this anymore. I don't want to hold on to it. I'm letting it go. Somebody maybe, because we have decision all over in this. Somebody is definitely making a decision because they have somebody new that they are developing a bond with. And that is all there is to it. And I think this has happened very, very expectedly. Unexpectedly. So, um... Temperance. Temperance comes after death. It's allowing and accepting change. This is managing feelings. There could be a reconciliation here. Somebody may uh, be asking for a reconciliation. They may. This could also be an exchange. Somebody is exchanging uh, one, you know, something for something better. Okay? So divine timing this is destined it's time so this is it's meant to be so there is two people that are coming together that are absolutely meant to be it's time there's a reason there is a reason why some sort of commitment that did, didn't last or some sort of relationship didn't last because this is there is i feel like there's an opportunity here for happily ever after with the right one So I feel like there's going to be, this King of Pentacles is thinking, he is thinking about his stability. He is very wise, very intelligent, and only wants stability. It looks like he's looking at a new relationship. Something that is stable, something that is permanent. After being ghosted, and whether it's a he or a she, it doesn't matter. That's what's on the card. Could be a she. Somebody was ghosted. Somebody was left behind. Somebody was neglected. And now they got a new partner. This is somebody that can help them to heal. This is healing. Healing. Healing from the lack of commitment. The lack of, of, 
the disgrace, the disgrace, whatever they were put through. Somebody has been disgraced by an individual who wasn't very spiritual and didn't care who they hurt, put it that way. But the, but the individual that um, ghosted them is coming back around. That's what I see. This person that is coming back around is upset. They could be angry. This person deserted you in the time of need. They're controlling. They're only out for their own good and they don't like to lose. So things could even get out of control. Things could end with a tower card, absolutely. I f be prepared for expect the unexpected in the next couple of days. Somebody that walked away and ghosted another person is coming back around. Good luck.